in this tip of the day, I'd like to demonstrate various techniques in which you can create offset geometry. Here we have a solid model, and then earlier I extracted some wireframe geometry up at the top. In fact, we're going to be using that wireframe geometry for this example. All right, so the first way to create offset geometry is head up to the Command Manager, select Line, and then select Parallel Offset. Now this works for lines and arcs, so let's demonstrate. Let's select that. Here's the offset amount. I'm going to put in 250 thousandths. Now if I take my cursor and just left hand mouse click one time, I'm now offsetting that line to either side just by moving the mouse. And if I want to create that line, I can left hand mouse click. Notice also that while you're creating the offset geometry, you can always change this offset amount. I'm going to change that to an eighth of an inch. And I'll come back over here and change this to 50 thousandths. It makes no difference. It's very forgiving. You can type in different values as you move along here and then simply left click. Now, as mentioned, this also works for arcs. Let's change this back to 250 thousandths. And again, we can move our cursor to either side, left click, and when we're done, right hand mouse click. It's very powerful. Now, I'm going to hit Control Z. That's the undo command or the shortcut for undo. Let's undo that. And I want to demonstrate that using this command, you can actually select all of the connected geometry. So let's go back into parallel offset. Now what I'm going to do now is instead of just left clicking once, I'm going to quickly left click twice. So just a quick double left click. And now I can easily offset all of the connected geometry. Very, very powerful. All right, now let me show you another technique for creating offset geometry. Let's head back over to the Command Manager, but this time we're going to select the Shapes command. Within Shapes, there's an option here called Advanced Offset. There is a lot you can do here. Let's go with Advanced Offset. Let's keep it simple. I'm going to change our depth to zero. I'm going to talk about this in just a second. And for the offset amount, I'm going to type in 125 thousandths. All right. Now, when I click OK, to select the geometry, we're going to left click and then we can use these arrows to determine the side and the direction. I'm going to just left click here for that side and if I hit the F3 key on the keyboard that will select the rest of the geometry. Now what's nice is I can keep clicking yes and one CNC will continue to offset. That's very nice. Now let me show you another advantage to using that arrow selection. Let's go back here to advanced offset. With the arrow selection, I can start here and I could terminate here, right hand mouse click, and now I'm just selecting that range of geometry. And again, we can keep continue offsetting if we want to. Now another component to this, or another feature to this, is that we have the ability to also offset in Z. So let's go to Advanced Offset. I'm going to leave this at 125 thousandths, but I'm going to put 200 thousandths for my depth. So what's going to happen here is one CNC is going to offset both in X and Y, 125 thousandths, but it's also going to offset the geometry in Z, 200 thousandths. So we'll click OK, left click, left click that side, hit the F3 key to select the rest of the geometry. I'm going to do this a couple of times and then we'll finish that. And if I rotate the view around, you can see that we've offset that both in X and Y and also in Z. Very, very nice. So I'm going to undo that. Another thing you can do is if we go back into advanced offset, if you want to, you can specify an angle. So we could say, okay, we want to offset by an angle of 45 degrees with a depth of 200 thousandths. And again, we'll demonstrate this by using the arrow F3. And then now as I keep clicking up here, the offset now has offset at 45 degrees at our 200 thousandths. All right, and the last thing I want to show you, let's hit the space bar twice, go back to a top view, is with using advanced offset, you can also offset both sides. This comes in really handy when you're making things like O-ring grooves and things like that. So if we go to offset both sides, and let's put our depth back to zero, and for an offset distance, why don't we put in how about 50 thousandths on that? So we'll click OK, left click. It doesn't matter which side we're on because we're going to be offsetting both sides. Hit the F3 key and we'll click no on that. And there we go. There's a quick way to offset both sides. So using one CNC, you have lots of different, very powerful and versatile techniques for creating offset geometry. Well, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.